welcome to Vanity's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making for you today is chicken soup. Chicken soup is one of my favorites and I do believe that it's got a lot of good qualities about it. You know, when you're feeling sick or if you just want to sit down on a nice cold day and have soup and sandwiches. So what I'm going to do is show you how to make it from leftover chicken or if you don't have leftover chicken, you could use the raw chicken. But any way you make it, let's get started. So when I say leftover chicken, I don't mean leftover chicken from your plate. I mean chicken that you have had roast, either on a Sunday or a middle of the week. Um, cut it up in little pieces and then take the carcass and put it into your boiler with some water and <clears throat> you can put some vegetables and onions and whatnot and this is what you would get um, you would get the broth and the remainder of the chicken that came off the carcass so I got this here already done I got this chicken that I'm gonna cut up and I got some vegetable stock that I got from my ball jigs dinner so I'm gonna get started on cutting up the chicken so pretty much all I'm going to do here now is just take shavings of the chicken um, off the bone and like I said the, the remainder of the bone and what's on the chicken on the bone you can use for making your stock. I'm talking in riddles there now. But also when you make your stock in advance, you probably can see it there, um, it it will settle and then any of the oil that came off it stays to the top and I can take this off and that way we can discard it. That's what's wonderful to making it in advance. Okay, so I'm going to continue with the chicken and then we'll get it started. Okay, so pretty much all I'm doing here now is removing the bone from the remainder of this cooked chicken. If you're cooking the carcass after and you're putting it in the, in the pot, before you add any, anything into it, you want to make sure all those bones are out and it's just the remainder of the chicken that's at the bottom. You can strain it through a strainer if you want to do it that way or just pick it out uh, with uh, your fork or your knife. Um, so what we're going to do here now, I'm going to tell you the ingredients I'm going to put in the soup. We're going to start a stock in the boiler. So let's get going gonna put this chicken out here into a bowl because I got a, already got some in advance here in my uh, our, my mason jar here I don't need a whole lot more so we got uh, three to four sticks of celery cut up into little pieces I got a large onion again cut up into little pieces if you don't like onion in your soup keep it in there full cut it in half put it in then you can take it out you'll still get the flavor in your soup. We got the vegetable trio which is parsnip, carrot, carrot and turnip and potatoes optional. I like potato in my soup but if you don't you don't need it in there. I've, um, I'll put the ingredients as well there but depending on how much soup you're making you might want a lot of vegetables. We got garlic. I got uh, two cloves half a, a teaspoonful of salt, we got a teaspoonful of pepper, we got some uh, oregano and thyme and I got a cube of oxo and we'll talk about that. So what I'm going to do now is get our, our stock, also broth, into my boiler and get it warming. So before I pour my, my uh, stock into the boiler I'm taking off the oil, the grease that set to the top when it goes into the fridge. So this is three cups of uh, stock air and five cups in this one. So we're going to go with eight cups and again depending on how much you're going to make you could use more. I'm just going to get the chicken and all that out of this one as well. So you pretty much do this with your leftover chicken when you boil it down and to make a stock or we also call it a broth. So I'm going to pour it all into to start this boiling. So this is a quick way to make soup, chicken soup and like you said it don't hurt to have it in your fridge for when you want it and when you bottle it when it's hot you can keep it in your fridge up to a, a month 
in your mason jars. Um, if you're cooking it from raw chicken, you'll, uh, you'll start off by putting the chicken parts into your boiler, put in water, or you can still put stock or broth which from your vegetables or from a meal that you cooked and start off boiling and do the same as what you would do with your carcass from your already cooked chicken. Take all the chicken off it, remove the bones and then start then with your base. So what I'm going to do now is put my seasonings in there, the garlic, my onion and get this boiling. Okay, so what I'll do is put the remainder of this chicken that I just cut off and my chicken is already cooked because I had roast chicken last night for dinner. I'm going to put in the large onion that's cut off in cubes. Again, if you don't want um, the cut up onions because you don't want onions in your soup, just put the full onion in there and then you could remove it after. So I got those two things added in there along with eight cups of broth or stock if you if uh, if you want to call it that and uh, the remainder of the chicken from my carcass that I cooked down so I'm gonna let that boil and then I'll tell you what's next okay so I'm gonna take the lid off there now and I want to add in my seasonings so as you can see the chicken the onion I even got some corn in there because that's what we had from that meal. I'm going to use a full cube of chicken oxo. You don't need to use that. You can just use the sea salt. I'm going to eliminate sea salt because I already had my broth already boiled in my vegetables and that had salt in it. Um, I'm going to put in a full garlic and I'm going to put in one that's already chopped up. So you add that to it and that, trust me, you will be so glad you did that because if you're feeling a little tired or you got a little bit of a flu or cold around you, that would help you a lot. We're going to put a teaspoonful of thyme or a half a teaspoonful, a teaspoonful of black pepper, half a teaspoonful to a teaspoonful of oregano. So we're going to stir that in there. So now while I'm waiting for my pot to boil, my mom used to always say don't watch it because it won't boil. So I'll talk a little bit about, I put in a cube of OXO. You can get low sodium OXO or you can get the full uh, amount. The cube uh, is probably equal to a teaspoon full of salt. So you don't need to add salt if you're going to put that in there. Um, if you don't want to add OXO, you can add the sea salt. And some people also, when they make their broth with their carcass, they add a bit of salt beef. If you add that, you don't need that salt. So I'm more or less saying use your discretion when you're making your soup. Uh, this soup airs for about six people. So uh, if you want more than that, like you said, you can double all the, all the ingredients. Just want to give my broth a little stirring there. So I had already cut the fresh vegetables up in advance, as you can see, um, it's all in little small pieces. Parsnip is a little sweet, a delicious soup vegetable, so if you can get access to that, cut it up, you need one of those. I got about three carrots here, um, three potatoes, and a half of a turnip. I put three uh, celery sticks and cut it up and you can use as much as you want on that. I also took the top leaves because I'm going to cut that up right at the last when I'm almost ready to take this out and put it in there and that got lots of flavor. Okay so what we're going to do next is add our vegetables into our bowl. It smells absolutely amazing here and I only just got it really started. Okay so all of my vegetables I'm going to put in except the celery. I'm going to keep that for just about the last. I'm going to toss that right in there and stir it around. The chicken was pre-cooked because I added as leftover chicken. Um, the onions went in after that and then the garlic and now the vegetables. 
So what's so wonderful about making a pot of chicken soup? It should never be stressful. Cooking in the kitchen or baking should never be stressful. It should be fun. Um, you can do a lot of this prep work the night before. In fact, if you're cooking your chicken the day before and before you put away everything, toss the carcass into the boiler with the, the broth from your vegetables. If you had vegetables cooked, not necessarily a jigs dinner, but you might have had potatoes and carrot and, and whatnot. Put it into there, get that boiling while you're cleaning up your dishes and you know from the night before. When all that's boiled down, put it in a mason jar like I showed you there earlier on in this episode. And then let it go to room temperature, put it in your fridge, keep it there until you're ready to make your soup. Then your vegetables that you're going to have for your soup, you can cut that up the night before, put that in water, leave it at room temperature, and that's fine there as well. So that's a little few tips to help you speed up your soup. So what I'm going to do now is let my soup simmer to medium heat and let it cook there for about 30 minutes. Um, then what I'll do then, we'll talk a little bit about what do you want to add in there. Do you want to add in rice to make chicken rice soup? Do you want to add noodle to chicken noodle soup? That is going to be totally up to you uh, because it's whatever you like in your soup. This will be the last 10 minutes of the boiling because we want for the flavor to stay there. We don't want for it to cook away. We want to actually taste those celery because the celery brings really good flavor to your soup. So meet me back here in 30 minutes and I'll show you what's next. Okay, there it is. Welcome back. We are now about to add in the celery and of course the noodle or rice of choice. I'm going to be adding rice into mine and that's the celery added in and I'm going to be adding in a quarter of a cup of rice. smells absolutely amazing. I can't wait to have a bowl. Um, so pretty much at this stage now, you're just going to stir that in. As you can see, I got rice here. I got the elbow noodle or any type of noodle or rice that you want to use in your soup. Remember, you're making it for yourself. I'm going to sample the broth here now. Oh, that's delicious. At this stage, you can see whether or not do you want to add in a little bit more of your seasonings. And then you can add in the seasonings you've already added before. If you want to add in some more pepper, some thyme, oregano, even garlic. I mean, that's entirely up to you. So this is about 10 to 15 minutes now letting the rice and the celery start to cook there up on a boil. And then I'm going to scoop up a nice taste and show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is the final stage of making our delicious chicken soup. So what I'm going to do now is turn my soup down on simmer, take off the lid, stir it around to make sure the rice is all incorporated into the soup, and now I'm going to scoop up a bowl full. So those celery tops I'm going to just pour in there now. And as you can see, just look all of the vegetables and chicken. You can see the rice, the vegetables, and I am going to scoop up a nice helping now into my bowl. Okay, so I'm going to put two scoops for now and some of that delicious broth. So I'm going to bring this now to my platter. So all I want to do now is add in some extra dough celery tips and some black pepper to mine because, again, I love my black pepper. I'm going to have a little taste and tell you what it tastes like. Oh, yes. This soup, well, my husband would say to bring you alive. It'll bring you to life, is his words. It's so delicious. It's got all the flavors of the chicken and uh, vegetables together and the celery just stands right out. I recommend that you make this soup. Two thumbs up by Bonnie's Kitchen. 
and I talked a little bit about how you can bottle your soap, keep it up to a month in your fridge, even though it seals good unless you want to do the full uh, boiling and uh, getting it kept properly. But just wipe any soup that you scoop over it and then just put your lid on, tighten it. And I can guarantee you, with this setting on the counter like this, you will hear this lid pop when it starts to go to room temperature. But take it then, put the label on it telling you what it is and when you made it, put it in your fridge and enjoy it all of that month. And of course, you won't be disappointed. So this is how quick and easy it is to make homemade chicken soup. I can't wait to finish mine. The, the smell is just really doing me justice. So if you want more of these homemade recipes and like to know how to make it, just send me a message at www.bonnetiskitchen.com on my website and go to my YouTube channel and subscribe at the top right hand corner hit the link. It'll prompt you to what you need to do and each time I post a video we will let you know. So I hope you found this episode for homemade chicken soup helpful for you today. From my kitchen to yours, thank you for joining us and have a wonderful day.